Wednesday, let's head out to the new zoo. Yeah, Neil Anderson joins us again live from Swamico. Hi, Neil. Hey, good morning, and we're behind the giraffe exhibit, and the reason we're behind there is because you can take a look behind me. <laughs> we, Ouch. we are moving our albino alligator, you know, and you just gotta, just gotta hate those things that are hanging like that. Yeah. <laughs> take a look, here's our albino alligator, and uh, this is Lucky. Lucky's about nine years old. You know, he came to the zoo about four years ago. This is the first time that he had an opportunity to spend um, the winter down in the giraffe exhibit, or I shouldn't say in the giraffe, but behind the giraffe exhibit. But this gives us an opportunity to go ahead and use the giraffe scale. So what they're going to do is we're going to take Lucky over to the giraffe scale. I was just going to ask how heavy he is, but we're about to find out. Oh, you know what? And we haven't, we haven't weighed him. It's been quite a while, so we're really not sure. I'm betting around 170 pounds, but... I don't know. And, you know, here's the other thing we had to do is we had to go ahead. Jessica got on his back, and she taped him up this morning. Robert helped her, and Carmen's on the tail end. And this gives us an opportunity. Let's take a look. Really? 85 pounds. Huh. Oh, boy, I was close. Yeah, that well, well. In the ballpark. <laughs> well, so what we do is we had an opportunity to go ahead and weigh him you know, in this exhibit and what and what we did earlier is we moved the giraffes out because obviously I don't think the giraffes want to watch an alligator coming in to, to the uh, scale area, so they're out on display. But today what we're planning on doing is we're going to move him back to where uh, they went ahead and pulled him from. So if, guys, if you want to go ahead, we can go ahead and move him back. In the meantime, what we'll do then is uh, we're going to get him ready to go to go on to exhibit. And uh, Dr. Tracy Gilbert, uh, She's here at the zoo this morning, and the next segment, what you're going to see, is we're going to do an exam with him. We're going to have an opportunity to go ahead and uh, get him over to his exhibit. Now, we just renovated his exhibit. He's got a new spa heater, a new filter in there. It's all ready to go. And, you know, a lot of these animals that spend winter in the uh, back holding areas, we like to get them all out for Memorial Day weekend. And, we're getting prepared here to get everything ready to go. But this gives us an opportunity, you know, at least twice a year to get our hands on this alligator and, and take a look at it. And the next segment will happen too is you'll get it real up close. We'll take a look at some of the, the different parts on this guy and the unique adaptations that uh, the alligator has. But the one interesting thing with him, he is an albino alligator. You know, there's only about 30 of them in the world. And so if you get an opportunity to come out to the zoo, you'll get a chance to see Lucky, and you might get Lucky mm -hmm. if you get a chance to take a look at him because Cajun folklore says that if you take a look at an albino alligator, yeah. look at his eyes, you'll have good luck wow. for the whole year. Yeah, so make Excellent. sure you make a trip out to the zoo and Will you'll do. be on exhibit today. Okay, thanks, Neil. We'll check back with you next hour. Hey, sounds good.